So mammography is an imaging modality, this one, that uses uh, uh, X-rays of low energy on a breast to detect um, lesions, lesions of uh, as small as 10 millimeters. While ultrasound is an imaging modality that uses high frequencies, frequencies that our ears cannot even hear, to also scan soft tissues and detect uh, cystic and solid lesions as well. So WHO recommends uh, 40 years and above, but here at Kenyatta National Hospital, we are doing 35 years and above for the simple reason is that we are having a lot of uh, under 35 years getting cancer. Last week, we had a 32 year old who had cancer and then the previous week we had a 38 year old who had already been done mastectomy. So we went down. I know WHO once recommends 40 years and above, but for us 35, we are doing a mammogram. For ultrasound is anyone below 35 years. Yeah, we recommend 35 years because of the dense breasts, which are very sensitive to radiation. So we recommend uh, ladies under 35 to come for uh, ultrasound. Okay, so for mammogram, one of the things that people really say it's very painful, you can see, this is where the breasts are supposed to get in. So we have ultrasound. Ultrasound is very, it's non-invasive, like it's not painful, you just put a gel and then you scan on top of the breast. While this one, you have to press, so they feel it is very painful. Number two, they feel that this radiation, which is dangerous, that can cause uh, cancer to them. So most people fear mammogram as opposed to ultrasound. Yet, uh, WHO recommends that we do mammogram for ages 35 and over. I highly recommend that people come, and, and that's why we do preparation, so that you come when your, your breasts are not very sensitive, because when they are very sensitive, that's when you get very painful uh, mammo when they are pressing. So you, it's recommended that you come. I have done mammo. Uh, it's, it's actually uncomfortable. I cannot say it's painful, it's just uncomfortable. But actually, it's a good thing. The radiation part, it's very little radiation. It cannot cause uh, any, any, any side effects or it cannot cause cancer. So I recommend that women actually above 35 years should actually go for mammogram at least once a year. Yeah, and those ones below 35 years should go for ultrasound. We have different categories of women. We have those ones who are postmenopausal. Postmenopausal, they can come anytime. They are, you know, they're already after. They, they're not receiving their menses. But the ones who are premenopausal, they're supposed to come within the first 10 days after their periods. So that's the time. Because you see there are a lot of changes, physiolo physiological changes happening. So we usually recommend that after 10 days of your period, that's when you know your breasts are not very sensitive and you can be able to comfortably take this test. I know most of our staff fear because we haven't seen quite a number of them coming for this test. For the fear of the unknown, people think when they come, they'll find out that they already have cancer. It's not the case. I think it's better you come, do the test, find out, and if for instance, you have a very strong family history of cancer. I think I highly recommend that at least you do this test once a year so that we can follow you up. You see, majority of people come when it's too late. So it's, I think prevention is better than cure. So we rather do at least, I recommend especially women, please come and do this test once a year. It just takes less than 10 minutes and you are done. Yeah, so in addition to just coming for this and waiting for awareness campaigns, I think uh, as women especially, we need to do our own self-breast examinations in our houses once a month. Just go in front of the mirror and just do a scan of your, your both breasts and just see whether you can pick something like a lamp or something in it. And that will actually save a lot.